Hey everybody, it's Haley back with another Rome video. I'm not sure if you guys are sick about it by now, but this is a short one. I just wanted to cover some of my favorite places to connect and eat in the city of Rome that are really budget friendly. And honestly, they're my favorites that I always go to when I'm here. So let's get to it. All of these locations are going to be located in central Rome, so it's very easy to walk between them. Let's start with breakfast. My favorite breakfast place is near Campo di Fiore and it's Rosholi. You're gonna see Rosholi pop up because there's a few different Rosholis here. Same family, different venues for different items. So this is Rosholi Pasticceria. This is the pastry shop as it says in its name. It is open for breakfast. Here's a menu over here if you want more of an American style breakfast. But for me, I usually just go in and I stand at the bar and I get a cornetto, I get an espresso, or I'll get one of their other delicious pastries. There's small sandwiches in here. But personally, the star of the show here is the Meritozzi or Meritozzo if you're getting just one. A Meritozzo is a sweet roll stuffed with fresh whipped cream. It's to die for. The pastries are great. You have to stop here on your trip to Rome. It's a must stop. I stop here every time. Don't forget to get a cappuccino too. Do you like saving money when you travel or are you looking to save money so you can travel even more? Click the link down below in my bio to get my free ultimate travel savings guide. It will show you trip planning savings, food savings, getting around, attraction, currency, you name it. Now let's talk about lunch options. I normally like to just get takeaway, which is like pizza that you can grab by the Slice Pizza Italia or sandwiches. You can do sit down restaurants, but I'm more of a takeaway girl. So let's talk about Bacchanale. Now there is a restaurant Bacchanale, but around the corner is the sandwich shop and there's no place to sit. You'll see what I mean. So this place is great because you could get a big sandwich or some pizza slice to go. Souply, super cheap and budget friendly and you just walk right up and you can walk around, eat your little sandwich or find a nice place to sit. Now we're also gonna head back to Rosholi for a quick second and I'm kicking myself because I do not have video, but we are going to the Rosholi Forno, which is different than the Pasticceria. Pasticceria is more pastries. Forno, you're gonna see breads, pizzas. Um, there'll be pastries too, but different setting. So the Forno is actually right down the street from the Pasticceria. You will see a line outside of this place. It goes fast, but please get in this line. It is some of the best pizza that you will ever have. It's a thick, crunchy crust, and there's so many varieties. It is measured by the weight, and that's how you pay. This is what we got with friends last time we were there. Highly, highly recommend it. You could get two of those square pieces for roughly about five euros. Okay, now we're gonna start sit-down restaurants and we are going to start with Oregano di Campo di Fiori. A lot of these are open for lunch as well, but I did these all for dinner and this is the first restaurant that I ever went to in Italy and I'm gonna tell you a little story. So it's back in 2019, my first trip with my family. This restaurant was actually in the same building as our Airbnb and our host brought us through this back door that went through their kitchen and this is where we ended up eating our first meal in Italy, first meal in Rome. So when I brought my co-workers on my third trip last year back to Rome, I had to take them here because I just love it. The food is so good. I highly recommend the cacio e pepe. You can get it with artichokes, which I really love. Um, the pizzas are great. The appetizers are great. I cannot say enough nice things about this. You can make reservations ahead of time, which I highly, highly recommend. Now remember, in Italy, if you like to eat early, that's going to be a little harder to find. Um, most restaurants don't open till 7 or 8. This one, I believe, opens at 6. We were able to get reservations around 7. But I hope that you guys give this place a try. It's really good. It's fresh pasta, fresh pizza, and the staff is simply amazing. Next up on our list is AI Balustrari. Now, this was right outside of my Airbnb that I was in when I went to work in Rome in 2021 actually ate here a couple nights because it was great and it was super budget friendly and obviously very centrally located so i have a few pictures because i didn't take outside video of course because i was probably just hungry at the time of what the restaurant looks like so you can get a feel this is run by some of the most amazing people i've ever met in my life they're so kind so sweet 
everything I had here was great. This is the place I actually tried tripe for the first time, Tripo Romana, and it was so good. I would definitely order it again. The portions are huge. I'm kind of comparing them to my hand here, and I actually have some video. I didn't take it of the outside, but I did take it of the menu. So you can see just how budget friendly this place is. All of the places on this list are pretty budget friendly. They're not Michelin star restaurants, but they are good, hearty food served by and cooked by amazing people and that they will not hurt your wallet. I mean, look at this pizza. This is Pizza Romana. It is ginormous. There's my hand for reference, and I love it topped with brugola. This is Carciofo Romana, which is a fried artichoke, and then this dessert might be one of the best things I had in my life. It's a Mont Blanc. Next, we're gonna head over to a favor that was introduced to me by my friend Davide over at Grey Line Rome. It is Mestro Chiche, which literally translates to master of the belly fat. So you know that it has to be good. This place, I cannot say enough nice things about. Of course, we have the situation where I didn't take video of the front, but this is what it looks like. It's over near Piazza Navona, and this place is simply wonderful. The pastas are great. I did not take a picture of my tiramisu, but that is fantastic as well here. The prices are great. I did get a uh, caption of the menu over here so you can see what the pricing looks like. Very, very affordable. When I took my employees here as well last year, some people got calzones, some people got pasta, but everything that we had was absolutely to die for. And if you have room for an appetizer, the uh, charcuterie board is fantastic. So unless you've been living under a rock, this next place shouldn't be too much of a surprise. It's Osteria da Fortunata near Pampo di Fiori. And this place is known for seeing the ladies in the windows rolling pasta fresh, a la carte, ready to rock and roll. I mean, this is some of the freshest pasta you will get in your life. Here's the ladies doing the good work. Now, this place tends to have a huge line, especially for dinner. Um, it was really great. The pasta was great. We actually tried some porchetta as well, which was wonderful. Um, this place is great. It's not my favorite on this list, but it is very good. And it's probably the more expensive out of all the sit-down restaurants on the list. All right, that's it for sit-down restaurants. Now, we cannot go to Italy without getting some great gelato. So let's talk about Frigidarium. This is my favorite favorite place in the whole world to get gelato. I mean, overall, you're not going to have terrible gelato in Rome. Just stay away from the places that have the big mounds of it. But this place is my favorite. I come here every time, sometimes a couple times a trip. I brought my coworkers here. It is truly to die for. You can get so many different flavors. I love the stracciatella, the dark chocolate. I love the raspberry. You can get it dipped in chocolate. It's so good. Remember, don't forget to subscribe and let us know if you need help planning your next trip to Rome. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you get to manja manja when you get here. I will see you next time. Bye.